All right, so I was about to go to bed just literally minutes ago, and then I saw a tweet on Twitter, and it was just like, hey, there is a cool new feature inside of the YouTube dashboard. It's called the Research tab under Analytics, and I think it is an awesome tool that you guys might be interested in and may be a good tool to pair with something like vidIQ or even an alternative for those of you that don't wanna pay for it. So let's talk about it today on How To Tech. What's going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be talking about the new research feature or tab inside of the analytics tab of the YouTube Creator Dashboard. This seems like it's gonna be a really neat feature and it's gonna be useful for those of you that want a little bit more game plan whenever you're trying to create your video, something we actually are gonna be talking about in a video releasing next week. So go ahead and check it out. It was actually gonna release this week, but I pushed it back so we can make this video and have it come out as soon as possible to let you know that this is a cool new feature that is inside the YouTube Creator Dashboard. So without further ado, let's jump over to that computer and take a look at it. All right, now we're over the computer. Let's go ahead and jump into the creator dashboard and show you where the research tab is located. So to get started, just go to YouTube and then click on your account and go to YouTube Studio. This is going to take us to the creator dashboard and we're going to go to analytics. This is where we want to go. And then we're going to go to research. So what research is going to allow us to do is to perform searches based off of different things that we might want. So if we're looking for OBS, we can search OBS and we can see the search volume based off of those keywords. So we can see OBS, OBS Studio, OBS Studio Tutorial, um, how to use OBS, OBS Studio Tutorial in Hindi, um, how to use OBS Studio to record screen. These are search terms and tags that would be really good to use, like say in the tags or the description or even the title of your video. So keep these in mind. These can be useful for helping you target what videos you might wanna make in the future. We also have a tab of what your viewers actually search. This is very important. And we can see that people wanna know how to edit videos for YouTube. That is very important. And we can also see they want to know how to make a YouTube channel. They want to learn about OBS, how to get more views on YouTube. And here is something that I think is really, really awesome. We actually have what's labeled as a content gap. And this lets us know what things that our viewers are actually searching for, but where they're not finding videos based off of YouTube's algorithm, whether that's watch time or whether or not they actually click on what they search for there. So say for example, they're searching how to make a logo and they just see a bunch of search results and they don't click on anything because they're not seeing what they want. This is letting us know that. So a content gap essentially lets you know um, this can happen when viewers can't find any results for their searches or they can't find an exact match for their searches or viewers can't find relevant videos for their searches. For example, the content is old or low quality. This would be a good example of something like OBS where it has different versions and iterations and people might not be finding something that looks familiar to what they're looking for or anything else that you may make content on. So this is a really useful tool in itself to be able to target what your viewers are looking for but can't find. Well, you can now make that specific video and it can help you with growing your channel, getting more views, interactions, and things like that. We also have the ability to go in and change our search just for content gaps if we wanted to, and even select our different geography of what we wanna target. So if we have mainly just a United States-based viewership, we can target that, or if we wanted to target specifically just for the United Kingdom, um, we can target that. And let's see, I am getting, yeah. So for India, we actually have quite a few different search terms um, that people are actually looking for that we're not targeting right now. So we could actually go through here and decide to make a video targeting that specific audience. And this is just a really neat tool that's gonna help you out whenever you're trying to plan out your content. So all right, guys, that's going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead, destroy that like button, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos from How To Tech. If you guys enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments section down below because we're trying to do more videos for content creators on YouTube, as well as obviously live streaming. And we want to delve more into what you guys are interested in. So like I said, let us know in the comments section down below what kind of videos you would like to see. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.